Hey guys, I'm gonna start right here showing you the box first because I cannot keep this in my lap. Maybe I can, but I just wanna show you the box first. There we go, okay. Just like all my other, uh, I was gonna say unboxings, all my other empties, I'm gonna go through my face wash first because there's always a crap ton and it takes up a big chunk of the box. For the millionth time, La Mauve Sweet Orange Foaming Cleanser is the cleanser I use. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I have eight cleansers as of now. I always find another one hiding in the bottom. Next we have my toners, which is Paula's Choice Hydrolite Healthy Skin Refreshing Toner, which again, they're always in my empties. And for the first time in I don't know how long I didn't buy these. I went and bought this ginseng toner. I was just tired of buying these and I just felt like my skin needed something new. The ginseng, it wasn't better or worse than the Paula's Choice. Like honestly, I can't tell what toner does. I'm sure if I stop, I can see what happens to my face. I feel like there was this one time I went on a trip or skip toner for a day and I did kind of break out. Again, it could be like a psychological thing because I know toner isn't like a necessity. There hasn't been a big change between this that I always use versus the one I'm using now, which is again, the ginseng one. Ginseng Essence Water Beauty of Joseon. This is very light. I don't know how I would compare the two. I just, I can't tell what they do to my skin. Next we have moisturizers. I'm shocked my Ionique Centella Calming Gel Cream is in here because I usually chop these up and then scoop out whatever's left. It's perfect during summer when I'm really oily and sweat a lot. But now that it's winter, I don't use this at night. It's a little bit too light for nighttime. I'll use the oil at nighttime during winter. But yeah, these are perfect during summer for me and my oily skin. Okay, next we have Vegan Collagen from Truly Beauty. It is a, one of my favorites. Even though it says a body polish, it doesn't scrub. There's no scratchiness. It feels like shaving cream. I love using this on my neck. My neck always feels so soft after I use this. Beauty basics. Oh, my best friend always randomly sends me like makeup that her dad brings home from work. It's always a hit or miss. It's either like I really like it or I just, I would never use it. I have no idea. I've never heard of this brand, Beauty Basics. Desert Essence Lemon Tree, Lemon Tea Tree Conditioner. I don't even remember buying this. I mean, it must be good if I finish it. Clarifying for oily hair. It does smell good, it smells like lemon tree. I might have to buy that again. There's always gonna be a neck cream in my empties because I'm always out trying out neck creams. Number seven, restore and renew face and neck. Did absolutely nothing. I think it came, I don't remember if it came together, but I bought the serum along with it. Just these two, nothing. Oh, this one was awful. Neck firming cream, Yoast green tea. When I looked on Amazon for neck cream, like this was one of their top neck creams. Um, this is like the worst neck cream I've had. I want to say just a few weeks in, not even a month in, just a few weeks in, it started smelling rancid. I really don't like creams that come in these because you're opening it up so many times and adding oxygen into there and you're just making it get old faster versus like a pump. So yeah, like just three weeks in, it already started smelling rancid. Most of the reviews of this are girls who got it for free and obviously they're like five stars. Like, oh my gosh, this is the best neck for me cream. And uh, yeah, it's not. I mean, better than this is the Strivectin one. There, oh, we got number eight. Yes, this is better than that. The Strivectin tightening neck cream is better than that. Not good for my neck wrinkles, but good for like tightening. Like I felt it tightening under here and then like it stopped working. Intensive scar cream. Well, this is more for like stretch mark cream. I honestly can't remember if this worked. I don't think it did. Colourpop All-Star Face Setting Spray. I don't think I like this. I think it was too light. I don't think really locked in my makeup like other sprays could. Like Urban Decay's is better. Elf Solid Sponge Cleanser. Duh, of course. This is still my favorite solid brush cleanser, sponge cleanser. Have a whole video on this. Epicurean Tighten Up Neck Firming Cream. No, dude. Nothing for me. I noticed that all these neck creams and neck moisturizers are more for firming and tightening. I'm looking for something more for my necklines and my neck wrinkles, and I haven't found any moisturizer that's good at that. Soulceuticals Day Glow Serum. This is my favorite vitamin C. I think this is my third bottle. 
It's just easy to work with. It's very watery. Aloe Soothing Sun the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. I remember I really like this. I brought it on our trip to Seoul and it was then that I realized there was coconut in it. I'm going to explain this for the millionth time on my channel that my face is allergic to coconut and my face will tell me if there is something coconut in it and then I have to go through each individual ingredient and then look up where it's derived from and I'm like yep I missed that one that one's derived from coconut so there's going to be a lot of stuff in here that are not finished or empty and I just didn't use them because they would give me painful allergies. So you know, let's let's go with that. Let's go with the stuff that I don't have a really big say in and I couldn't use because of the coconut in there. So that's this was this is really good. I feel like I don't remember it being really white. Like I feel like it did go into my skin well and this was one of the rare sunscreens that was in like bam white on my face. Your skin but better CC plus cream SPF 50. Oh, this one I'm not I don't think I was allergic to anything. I think I found out that there was some kind of animal product in this. I was like, okay, I didn't think that was gonna be in a CC cream, so I just never touched it again. Body Mirror Breakthrough Night Cream. I think I like it when I did try it. Expires 2020. Yeah, I've had this for a while, and after I found out that it has coconut, I think I just started using it on my arms. I mean, I remember it being light, but I mean, not the best night cream in the world. Never finished Mario Be Bodesco's Drying Lotion. It's the one that has like all the little pink inside, and you get a cotton swab and dip it in there and then put it on your pimples. But I haven't had any really bad acne to do that. And this has been sitting in our medicine cabinet for a long time. And I was just like, I never use this. I need to throw it away. The ordinary Argyreline? Argyreline solution? I think this was the one that made me break out like crazy. I was breaking out like crazy before my wedding. And I think this was it. It could have been another ordinary product in here, but I have a feeling it's this one. As soon as that broke me up, I just dumped all of this into the sink. Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. It wasn't strong enough to get rid of any sunspots. The closest thing that got rid of my freckles was Murad's one. It's orange, but that has coconut, so I can't buy any more. Like, I've had no luck. I can't find any serum as strong as the Murad one to get rid of all my freckles and sunspots, but this wasn't it. I think there's another one in here. Yep. Daily brightening serum, like, eh, they're just really, they're not strong enough. Again, something I couldn't use because there was coconut on it, so I just used this on my neck. It's by Wish Trans Mandelic Acid. I honestly wonder how this would be on my face because even on my neck, even though there's no openings, why do I want to say openings? You know, like when you have a pimple and you just opened up your skin and then you put mandelic acid or like a glycolic acid and you can feel the burn, kind of like an alcohol burn. Even though I don't have anything open on my neck or like anything I scratch, like I can feel the burn from this sometimes. So now I'm wondering like how bad it would be on my face. Same with this, Pyongkang Yul Essence Toner. I think it would have been a good toner for me. I feel like I've heard really good reviews about this. Obviously that's why I bought it. Same with this, I'm from Rice Toner. No idea if it's good, it had coconut. I used it on my neck. Another thing that had coconut, herbivores, bakuchiol. You know, I can't say anything. Ah, same with this Elta MD Skincare AM Therapy. I really, really wanted to try this. I have a feeling this is a good moisturizer. The Ordinary is Rose Hip Seed Oil. A few years ago, Rose Hip Seed used to be my moisturizer at night. I have no idea why I stopped. It was good. It wasn't this specifically. I think when I tried this one, I didn't like it or I broke out. So I just used this on my stretch marks. Oh, here's another Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliant Treat. I remember raving about this. But after I did my favorites, that's when I started getting my like coconut allergies. So... I stopped using this. I might try again and email them just to make sure that it was this that had coconut because yeah, I really did like this when I was using it. The vitamin C booster powder. This one I didn't like. Just the hassle of having to mix things kind of turns me off. I'm like, I just want one thing to use. I want one moisture, one serum. I'm like, I don't want to start mixing things and making my own concoction. I feel like that's too much. Vitamin E oil, 100% pure. I remember watching a TikTok and she was an older mom and she was saying how vitamin E oil is what keeps her her face youthful and she uses like those capsules that you squeeze out the vitamin E oil and I'm like why not just buy a bottle so I did and every time I use this it gives me one big whitehead the next day like I don't break out it just always gives me one big whitehead and it does smell like there's a really weird smell to it and it's really thick so that's a no. Amara Beauty Total Repair Eye Gel. I just stopped using it because I got um oh a sty every single eye cream gives me milia all those annoying 
little whitehead dots under your eye, every single one, and it sucks because I want to use an under eye cream for my dark circles and I can't because I'll get milia, which happened with this. So I went to Amazon and got a milia treatment for that, for your under eyes, and it made it even worse. It gave me little like tiny pimples all around. They weren't milia, they were like tiny pimples all around my eyes. And I'm like, wow, you just made it worse. So yeah, I just feel like I'm never gonna have anything to use under my eyes. Let's move on to stuff that I actually did finish. Bentonite healing clay, got this from Amazon. I used to use a crap ton of clay masks like this and then I stopped. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and my skin's getting less oily and I'm having less oily breakouts, but I just haven't felt the need to use clay masks. This isn't the best. It good and dries out your skin but benefits wise I feel like there isn't really any good benefits like it's just good for drying out your skin or if you have a ton of whiteheads or your skin's oily I feel like I should have another one in here um no not this one a Thara Pure Indian Glow face scrub I remember having this on a favorites but in that favorites I said it wasn't my favorite anymore like it was my favorite when I started using this but not anymore I didn't do anything amazing or special where I would need to buy another one. I mean, I like that brand, Sleepy Body Lotion. I love this body lotion, but it was, it's just sitting on our nightstand for so long. Oh, this shouldn't be in this box. It should be in the Lush box. I really like this body lotion, but I'm so bad at putting on lotion. I am nothing like my mom. She always slathers her body in lotion at night after she showers. Like I remember growing up, like just watching her do that, but I'm not a lotion person. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to use more lotion now that I'm getting older. Another Lush one, Candy Rain. Oh, I talked about this in my favorites. Still my favorite conditioner from Lush Candy Rain. We're eventually gonna get to makeup, hold on. Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub Made with Shea Butter. So I bought this for before our Tulum trip, I really wanted to use a body scrub so that my skin would be nice and smooth. In the reviews, people are saying they wanted to buy this because it smells like um, the yellow one, uh, Bum Bum Cream. I didn't really care about the smell, it was more I wanted a nice scrub that wasn't oily and it's so crazy because when you start putting it on, it's really oily. Oh my gosh, is that a spider? Yeah, it was a spider, <laughs> a floating spider. Like when you put it on, it's so oily, but then once it washes off, it's like there was no oil. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Because that's why I don't really like a lot of scrubs because I feel like they still make you oily afterwards, but this magically is oily and then it makes you nice and smooth. <sighs> so the Genera Coco Cabana Cream, still in love with this smell. I brought it up on my other empties because I finished the Bum Bum Cream and not this, but I brought it up in that video saying I was going to take as long as I can to finish this because I love the smell and I took so long that it went bad. But I would buy this again. I love putting it on my tattoos. Truly Beauty Anti-Cellulite Resurfacing Body Serum. Nope. I think this is, yeah, this is the orange one. And then Buns of Glory Tighten and Glow Butt Serum Watermelon. I like the smell of this. Buns of Glory one does nothing. Anti-cellulite, this isn't going to magically make your cellulite go away. I did not like the smell. I like the smell, but I am not buying these two again. The only... One that I'm gonna keep buying is the booby, acai booby serum. Like that one smells good and I feel like it does work with my chest acne. Okay, Joko, <laughs> I keep wanting to say Jokoi when I say this. Joko, K-Pack okay, Color Therapy Color Protecting Shampoo. There's another one in here, Joko Defy Damage. When I got my hair done, what do you call it? Balayage? I feel like it wasn't balayage or highlights. This is what she recommended and it was great, but it's not something I would buy again. I'm not very much into hair, and I don't like spending a lot of money on hair stuff, and I think these were expensive, but I bought them because I just freshly got my hair done. Luso Sapone Beard Oil. <laughs> it's my husband's beard oil I get for him. He likes it. I get it on Etsy. If you have a hubby who needs beard oil, I mean, my husband said this is good. Herbivore Pink Clay Exfoliating Floral Mask. I think I like this, but I didn't like it enough or I didn't like the price enough to buy it again. Same with this 100% Pure Acai Pulp Facial Scrub. I did like this, but not enough where I want to buy it again. I stopped with physical exfoliants and I went straight to chemical exfoliants. Garden of Wisdom Salicylic Acid. I think this is a good brand. It's very gentle and like pure stuff. I think I got this during that time again where I broke out like crazy. I mean, it didn't do anything magic. Kos de Baja, Kos de BHA Azelic Acid. I love this stuff. I'm on my second bottle. I love this brand except their vitamin C. I love their niacinamide serum. Their vitamin C serum is too oily for me. But the azelaic acid, I remember when I first started using this, it really cleared my skin. And I still use it even though it, it's not doing amazing for my freckles. I feel like I'm never going to find anything amazing for my freckles, but 
I still use it. Um, Paula's Choice. I tried out samples of her SPFs, Ultra Light Daily Hydrating Fluid, and then Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid. I didn't like the smell. It smelled too sunscreeny. Something about it, like it didn't make me want to buy it again. I don't know if it was the smell. I don't know if it felt oily or greasy or it was too white. Okay, we're almost there. Um, True Botanicals Clear Pure Radiance Oil. This is like their acne one. It, it didn't really do anything. I tried a little samples of their stuff. Clear Pure Radiance Radiant Oil. Renew Pure Radiance Oil. Like I'm still using their Chibula Active Serum. I have the big bottle. True Botanicals is expensive, but like, I mean, it's not doing anything amazing for my skin. The one I do, really do like, of course, is the one that's discontinued. It's their CBD one. It smells like jasmine. Jasmine's my favorite smell. And of course, that's the one I would buy again. Yeah, it's discontinued. <laughs> you can't even see what this is. This is Scott Barnes. It's the luminizer. I've had this in the bathroom for, I want to say, six years. Because I planned our Tulum trip years and years ago. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get a nice glow serum. And I bought this and it was just sitting in my bathroom. I did bring it with us to Tulum. I don't recommend you wearing this and then going to a restaurant and sitting down. Like this was perfect for photos and videos, but other than that, I wouldn't wear this under my clothes. We're almost there. Detox Saver Beauty. I do like this brand. This Manuka Honey Mask though. No, this I would not recommend it. It's not really a mask. It's It doesn't have the texture where you can like spread it on your face. It's more like a scrub. It's like a really thick honey consistency and then once I start scrubbing it, it kind of starts pilling. I would have to like rub it in between my fingers and then scrub but then it would just start falling over. So no, I would not recommend that. We're almost there. No, oh another one my best friend gave me. Really nice and peachy. I wonder why I didn't keep it. Maybe because it's old. Hold on. I remember I tried it so there had to be a reason. I threw it in here. Maybe it's too patchy. I feel like it's patchy or like too orange for me. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside to try it again. I just, I, I need to remember why I put that in here. I have so many of these JD Glow Cosmetics liquid glitter tubes. All of these suck and I was very disappointed. All her Instagram stories or her Instagram reels, all of them swatched beautifully like perfect, pretty glitter liquid eyeliner and every single one of these sucked. Like they were so patchy. These are the what the colors look like if she's still selling them. When I start swiping, like it kind of erases the glitter that I just drew on. So if you do one liner, there's not going to be enough glitter where you can see it. And then once you start adding it on, it's just going to start making it really clumpy. Like this right here. I'm That was a complete waste of money. See. That pink red one kind of looks okay, but again, I need to draw a really thick liner for that to show up. Another Biosense Rose Vegan Lip Balm. Ooh, oh yeah, I remember this. Every time I put this on, it made my lips even worse. My lips were dry, I put this on, and when this finally dried up, it made my lips even more dry and flaky. I was like, did you do that on purpose to make my lips drier so I would have to keep going back to this and reapplying and then have to buy a new one? After that happening maybe three or four times, I was like, yeah, I'm not playing into your games. <laughs> okay, another thing my best friend gave me is this Laura Lee Party Animal palette. Like, I'm never gonna use that. I found this really cool group on Facebook and I found it from a meme. I'll put that post right here. You can read it. So I looked up if San Diego has a no buy page on Facebook and they do. So basically people post stuff that they don't want and you don't have to pay for it. So I think I might put this like on the no buy because it's brand new. I would never use this, but if someone wants it, they can come pick it up for free. So Danae's Tony massage oil and then, okay, let me start from the beginning. So when I visited my best friend in Oregon, we went to Portland for like a Christmas mark and then there are a bunch of sellers and I bought her or his. I think it's a mom and son duo, I can't remember, but their Lemon Bliss Sugar Scrub Soap. I remember this smelled really good and their Tony Massage Oil. I hope they're still out there. I hope they're still selling and getting more customers. I held on to these 
just out of nostalgia because back in the day they all used these and they are NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and I keep telling myself I'm going to use them but I never use them. I have black bean, french fries, and sparkle nude. I never grab them, you know, and I, I keep them and I'm like, you know what, one day I'm gonna use these but I don't. I mean sparkle nude is really pretty. They do crease, especially this black one. I mean, these are amazing. They're nice and moisturizing. They're not dry because they're so moisturizing. Like they get into your creases and they just crease. So yeah, the sparkle nude one's really pretty. I need to let go of them. I'm never gonna use them. Same with this e.l.f. Mint Melt No Budget Eyeshadow. I used this in my e.l.f. Mint video and I knew that was gonna be a one and done thing because I always wanted to do a mint eyeshadow look but in real life I would never wear mint. I did wear it after the video like while I was editing and it did crease. I mean it's pretty. So along with that video I used this Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss. I'm never gonna use a brown lip gloss like this in real life. I'll just put my look here so you can see the combo. Okay, let me just grab everything that's left in here. Sephora number one. I remember this was my first, I think this was my first red shade ever. I was like 19 and I walked into Sephora and I remember I bought my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and I wanted like a good red lipstick. This is so old because I don't want to say how many years ago I was 19, but it was a long time ago and this shouldn't be in my collection. But again, I probably just kept it for nostalgia. Luscious Cosmetics Breathless. It's a little bit too pink and peachy for me. Exo Beauty's Wabi Sabi, which sadly I just bought, but I just, I would never wear it. It's too patchy. If you go watch my magenta lipsticks video I just made, then you'll see these two in there, which is Exo Beauty's Wabi Sabi and Belle and Argent's lipstick in A Little Nonsense. They are both too patchy. ColourPop's Mind Blown Volumizing Mascara again. I'll put a picture of the look I used with this blue mascara, but when am I, when am I ever going to use a blue mascara? All these fun colors are for YouTube and I use it once for a video and then never again. Luscious Cosmetics Brow Luxe Tinted Brow Gel. This one is way too light brown. Beige Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. I don't know how this works under the eyes or covering blemishes. This is pretty thick. I use this for cutting the crease. Yeah, I wouldn't buy that again. And then last we have Pretty Vulgar. I remember this is free. I don't even remember buying anything from Pretty Vulgar. It sounds familiar. Particularly sophisticated liquid lipstick. I mean, it's really pretty, but nothing I would wear. Uh, it's this one. Okay guys, that is everything for my empties finally because it's just been overflowing over here in this section of our apartment and I can finally go eat because I've been sitting in front of this camera all day. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope my camera, oh my gosh, I really hope it didn't do me dirty where it doesn't focus on my face like Ah, oh, please, I hope you didn't do that again because I will be really sad. But yeah, I apologize if my camera did that again where it keeps me out of focus, like here. Uh -huh. Yep. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. What am I doing? What am I doing? Ta-da! <laughs> uh, I will see you guys in the next video.